so hey guys welcome back to his little secret and just now i have been realizing that i was calling this game triangle and it's not triangle it is ta tangle not triangle <laughs> but anyways let us get on with carol's little secrets <laughs> thank you hello who knows maybe i'll get i guess the secret hub he used once i tasted the fragrance immediately fills my nose as I take a sip. It smells exqui exquisite. I still don't have a clue what it is, but it sure has a nice aroma. I set down the cup and ponder its content a moment. It tastes de delicious and it goes down smoothly. Hmm. I let out a deep sigh. He was nice enough to make it for me. I wish I had an answer for him. Then again, Carlo never asked that I try and figure it out. Who cares if he can't get guess as long as I enjoy drinking it? I nod reassuringly to myself. I know I can have someone else try drinking it and see what they think. I take around small samples of Carlo's herbs to my co-workers telling them I'd like to share with them. Wow, this is a very clean taste aftertaste. It has a very clean aftertaste. What herbs are in it? I don't know. I was hoping you might be able to tell me. I respond with a shrug. Sorry, I have no idea either. If you do, do find out, please let me know, okay? After nodding in agreement, I move on, the, on to another co-worker. Oh, herb tea. Hub tea? Sure, I wouldn't mind a taste. My co-workers grab the paper cup and gulp down its contents. Hmm, that's good. What is in it? I was going to ask you the same thing. Oh, sorry, I can't be more helpful. My co-workers' shoulders slumped apologetically. Even the tiniest bit of information would be nice. I let out a discouraged sigh. Just then, Timo returns. Yes, boss. <laughs> As you can see, I was still distracted. <laughs> Timo, <laughs> Timo is perfect timing. Could I get you to try a sip of this? What is this? Uh, Hub tea. It's really my mildly flavored. Go on. Mm, Timo gives me a suspicious look as I urge him on, then accepts the paper cup. <clears throat> it's a. It's got a good. It's got a clean aftertaste, but from the complex, the complex nose, I'll say it's a blend. That's my understanding. Carlo gave it to me, but I have no idea what herbs he put in it. Hmm. I have reached a settlemate. Settlement? Stalemate. I've reached a stalemate at this point. In it seems they have in it will remain a mystery i know what you mean i certainly don't have the knowledge to pick them out from the taste <clears throat> then i give up all i know is is it tastes delicious and i've had to thank i have to hey, thank carlo for it tonight with one final nod i abandon my search well although my knowledge of herbs is terrible if i had to guess it smells a bit flowery flower flower Laurel. <laughs> Following that observation, Timo drains the content of the cup. Floral? Huh. Timo said Carlo and him share interests, but apparently that doesn't extend to herbs. Disappointed, I, put, I let out another sigh. Timo hears that and suddenly remarks, If Carlo ma made it, why don't you just ask him what, herb are, what herbs are in it? He should be able to tell you. I'm sure you're right. I was just hoping I could figure it out before I saw him again. Hmm. While I appreciate your curiosity, I wish you would ex exercise that ambition a little more in your job. <laughs> Anyhow, I say wait and ask Carlo. Now stop standing around work, <laughs> work stacking up. Tio family adds, then launches his paper cup into a nearby wisp. Hey, waste basket, basket, hey, basket. <laughs> yes, sir. As Timo, uh, 
urging I Atimo's urging I put the herb tea out of my mind and begin focusing focusing on my job. Meanwhile, while Livia is at work, whew, the this new dishes always take longer than I expect to prepare. The herbs I gave Livia in her tea this morning is something I had acquired from today's di dinner. You know, <laughs> I'll bet she's curious what herb I used since I left it a secret. <laughs> what is this? Livia glances curiously up at Carlo. <laughs> it's a tea I brew. It's it's tea brewed from lemon grass and one other herb that's a secret. And drinking it should keep you going strong while you work. Have a great day. After seeing her reaction to the lemongrass, I was feeling a little mischievous. It wasn't my intention to be mean. I just wanted to procure her curiosity a little. Prequel? Prequel. I don't know. Not to mention, I also, I also wanted to give her some encouragement, uh, encouragement for work. Although I have to wonder if she left it, if, if she let it distract her. I hope not. When I pause to reflect on her personality, I remember how curious she can be, and realize she probably is distracted by it. Don't tell me my <laughs> leaving it a secret is getting in the way of her work. I let her sigh as the curious look Livia gave me earlier comes to mind. <laughs> if I know her, she's go going around to the uh, she's going around to the other people in her office asking them what they think. And probably upsetting Timo in the process. Oh, she's so adorable. Although I feel bad, I can't help but smile at uh, at thought. Livia always <laughs> so honest and sincere. I can't wait to give her a big hug when she gets home. Just thinking about her warms my heart. What what am I doing? I'm supposed to be focusing on my cooking. I'm so I'm certain. Livia is going to love this dish. I return to work while imagining her Im enjoyment. <clears throat> Carlo, pardon the intrusion. I came to pick up a few things I need. Josh explains while heading towards the refrigerator set aside for desserts. Not at all. In fact, I should thank you again for letting me use the kitchen all the time. Uh, there's no need for you, for you to thank me. It's wonderful to see you in in here, creating all these dishes that will go on to captivate your many customers. Just steps and turns to look at me. Hmm? Just steps. Tops. Oh, okay. I was like, what? Um. Oh my, whatever. It is. Is it your? Hmm? Is it you? Hmm? It is you. Uh, uh, oh my whatever it is you are creating today it looks quite elaborate <laughs> the table is buried under a large assortment of ingredients today's effort, uh, effort is not simple for the creation of a few new appetizers good uh, good observation if i had to guess could this be for Olivia? Josh smiles as he takes a closer look at what I am working on. Oh, that's right. As of today, Livia has been here. has been here half a year. I wanted to celebrate. Josh nods appreciatively at my excitement. Now that you mentioned it, you're absolutely right. It is her half year anniversary. Suddenly, I feel like celebrating too. Carlo, if it is well, if it will help you at all, feel free to use anything I have set aside in my personal refrigerator. Really? That would be great. You have got tons of fancy stuff stashed away in that secret fridge of yours. In fact, I've been dying to know just how to how do you get your hands on such rare items. Although I'm pretty well known in the industry, I still can't seem to match your sources. I imagine with this talk, you have been able to serve Mr. C just 
about anything his heart might desire. It makes a, a, a pretty capable chef to pull that off. Josh maintains his usual modest appearance while I nod enthusiastically. Nonsense. I was here, I would hardly call myself a chef. I am simply devoted to serving Nathaniel's wish is all. Well, you must tell me where you where your source where you are uh, where you source your ingredients from ingredients have <laughs> Well you must tell me where you source your ingredients from. I'm realizing Josh will have some powerful connection. I excitedly wait for his answer. <laughs> My sources, huh? Well, they really are nothing very fancy. He pauses a moment, then clears his throat. <clears throat> no, I better not say anything. I would hate to place my friendship with Nathaniel in a kind of, in any kind of risk. He then grins at me. I could risk your friendship. It, if it, yeah. <laughs> when I hear that, I let my shoulders slump. That sounds serious. As much as I want to know. Now, I'm afraid to keep asking. I appreciate it. Josh responds with a smile. And anyway, anyhow, my refrigerator is full, fully stocked. Feel free to use anything inside. Josh personal refrigerator, any one of the ingredients inside will cost me an arm and a leg to obtain. To obtain. They are all the highest quality and stocked efficient, specifically for his needs. The first time he showed me had been quite a shock. I could make some pretty extravagant dishes if I had the contents of that fridge at my disposal. It is a large refrigerator, almost allowing Josh to answer any desire of Mr. Scheisler's with the best tasting dish possible. This is great. <laughs> I'll be able to expand tonight's me menu a little. I turn a questioning eye towards Josh, wondering if he'll place any restrictions on me. <laughs> You're welcome to use anything you want. Josh sounds amused. All I ask is that you prepare Olivia a fantastic dish that she will enjoy. Now that Josh has uh, given me the okay, I begin to grow excited. Thanks Josh, I definitely will. Let's see, what do I have to work with? I waste no time to, time opening the, the fridge and peek inside. Oh, wow, has, has it really been half a year? I still remember when I when it was just me and Nathaniel living here. Josh begins to reminisce. Then once, one after another, the rest of you began showing up for all over and suddenly this place became, this place came alive. After that, you and Livia started dating and now look at how you, our lives, your lives have changed. I have never seen a happier couple. If those smiles of yours aren't proof of that, I don't know what is. As I listen to Josh, I can feel myself beginning to blush. It was exactly that kind of chemistry, like attraction between people that Nathaniel was hoping for when he built this place. I would imagine that that's why he's enthused, enthused, hey, entrusted, God, entrusted you and Naoki to look after Olivia when she arrived, when she first arrived. He must have realized that one of you would make the perfect partner for her. Josh chuckles to himself. I can't agree with that. After that, I am faintly aware that Mr. Chester has some rather mysterious insight in such things, into such things. And when I stop to think about it, I have nothing but gratitude for him. I come to think of it, you arrived here at Lila Court almost three and a half years ago, didn't you? Three and a half years ago? Has it really been that long? Yes, in fact, if I am not mistaken, today is the day. What a surprise. On this day, three and a half years ago, you showed up. Then a half 
uh, half a year ago, Livia arrived. Just think of your anniversary of a or your anniversaries or just think your anniversaries of a love. Isn't that amazing? It almost feels like a little like fate. Suddenly just slaps his hand together. Uh, that's it, Carlo. Why don't you celebrate your anniversary too? Don't you think that world make it even more enjoyable? Celebrate mine too? Yes, after all, if you had never come to live here, there would be no one to celebrate Livia's anniversary today. I think that miracle deserves to be celebrated. In fact, I would love for all of us to celebrate it, perhaps later this week. <laughs> oh yeah, that might be kind of fun. Josh's enthusiastic suggestion gives me an idea. I glance up and decide to discuss it with him. Josh, I just have an idea. Ugh, that took longer than I expected. Oh well. I'm sure I'm su sure glad Josh let me use the contents of his fridge. Otherwise all this would have been nearly impossible. Since he has he since he said he'll also make something. I imagine this will be enough. I stop and check the time. If I leave now, I should make it to Livia's workplace in plenty, plenty of time to meet her when she, when she finishes. I quickly send Livia a message letting her know I'm leaving right now to, to pick her up. Alright, I'll better hurry. I drive carefully. On my way out of the kitchen, I think... Thank Josh one once more, then start heading to Livia's workplace. Away from me. I'll be there in a few minutes. I mumble the content of my message as I type while hurrying to the garage. Should I read this one more? Yes. I guess. Or should I not? I don't know. Wait, is it chapter one? I mean chapter three. Okay, yeah. So I think I'll end there. Okay, guys. I will see you in the next episode and I hope you enjoy those. Let's do.